When we set out to design the Surface Book, we set out to redefine the laptop. Today, we'll give you a tour of the technology behind Surface Book and what makes it different. Redefining the laptop required a focus on two objectives for the Surface team. Best-in-class laptop fundamentals like performance, display, and keyboard, and delivering on design and engineering innovations that set Surface Book apart. Let's begin with a look at the display. The Surface Book resolution is 3000 by 2000 or 267 pixels per inch. That's 6 million pixels. But it's not just quantity, it's quality. This display delivers an amazing 1700 to 1 contrast ratio and 100% of the sRGB color space. Each display is individually color calibrated at the factory to deliver consistent, true color. In addition to a best-in-class display, a laptop should deliver great performance. The Surface Book uses the sixth generation Intel Skylake system on a chip with integrated CPU and GPU and comes with optional 8 or 16 gigabytes of LPDDR3 memory and a range of solid state drives from 128 gigabytes all the way to a terabyte. But we didn't stop there. The Surface Book also has a second, more powerful GPU from NVIDIA under the keyboard. This custom Maxwell architecture GPU and fast graphics DDR5 memory really light up graphic intensive applications like CAD if you're designing something, or for video editing which requires more processing power. Beyond performance, a great laptop also needs a great keyboard. Microsoft's been building keyboards for 25 years, and all that experience went into the Surface Book keyboard design. The keys have 19 mm center to center spacing because this is the most comfortable spacing for a wide range of hand sizes. The top of each key has a 0.2 mm dish that conforms to the shape of your fingertip. In addition to being highly durable, the finish on the keycaps provides a sure-footed grip without feeling sticky. This attention to detail makes the Surface Book keyboard fast, accurate, and comfortable. Looking around the outside of the Surface Book, you'll find a Surface Connect port for charging or for connecting to the Surface dock, a mini display port, a standard headset jack, two USB 3 ports, and a full-size SD card slot. Surface Book also has three cameras, two more than most laptops. There's a rear-facing 8-megapixel camera with autofocus, great for capturing whiteboard notes and scanning barcodes. And a 5-megapixel Skype HD certified front-facing camera. The third camera is infrared and supports Windows Hello face recognition for enterprise-grade authentication. Now, best-in-class laptop fundamentals are super nice, but fundamentals don't redefine the laptop. There are a number of design and engineering innovations that set the Surface Book apart. One of those innovations is the detachable display. This is the thinnest, lightest Core i7 PC ever made at 7.7 .7 millimeters thin and only 1.6 pounds. We call it clipboard because it's about the same size and weight as a clipboard, and it's an excellent writing surface for the new Surface Pen. It took a lot of innovative engineering to make the detach experience simple and elegant. The detach key is debounced in software to prevent accidental detach during normal typing. Press and hold the detach key for a second to activate the detach mechanism. The clipboard is ready to detach when you see the green indicators. Before unlocking the clipboard, we check that any work being done on the NVIDIA GPU is properly saved and there's sufficient battery charge in the clipboard. After I close the app, the clipboard is automatically unlocked. The electromechanical release mechanism uses muscle wire, a nickel titanium alloy that contracts when an electric current is passed through it. We use this muscle wire property to lock and unlock the clipboard. And from the outside, all of this is a simple key press followed by a satisfying click. The Surface Book has two batteries, a 52 watt hour battery in the keyboard base and an 18 watt hour battery to power the clipboard when it's detached. We wanted to make sure Surface Book users would have ample battery charge in the clipboard when it's detached. So we developed an algorithm we call Save the Top that charges the clipboard battery first and discharges the keyboard battery first. This increases the probability of maximum clipboard battery life whenever it's detached. The Surface Book also has two GPUs, the Skylake GPU and the clipboard, and the more powerful NVIDIA GPU in the keyboard base. We designed the clipboard so it can be plugged into the keyboard base in reverse orientation, making the Surface Book 
even more versatile, and giving you more ways to be productive. The result is a canvas for inking and graphics intensive applications that have access to both GPUs and all 70 watt hours of battery capacity. We've also made advancements in our pen and inking experience. The Surface Book's ultra-thin display reduces parallax error and makes the displayed ink appear closer to the pen tip. The new Surface Pen never needs to be charged, can sense 1,024 pressure levels that can be used to change the appearance of the ink, and has an eraser where an eraser should be. Finally, the dynamic fulcrum hinge is another innovation that sets the Surface Book apart. Although the clipboard is only 1.6 pounds, it's a complete PC, and it's heavier than just a display. This added weight in the top makes most two-in-one devices top-heavy, with a tendency to tip. The dynamic fulcrum hinge lengthens the base as it unrolls onto the table and lowers the center of gravity of the clipboard, making the Surface Book stable in your lap. So the hinge in the Surface Book isn't just an iconic design element, it's purposeful engineering. So that's Surface Book. I hope that you enjoyed our engineering tour. Keep watching Demo Bench on Microsoft Mechanics for more on the design and management of Microsoft Surface. Thanks for watching.